the castle, St. Lawrence Church, the medieval town center. Nuremberg has much to offer. And when the Christmas season comes around, the city boasts yet another attraction, its famous gingerbread. The sweet treat can be found on almost every corner, and the greatest selection of gingerbread is available at the famous Christmas market. People with a sweet tooth flock there all day. So what makes this gingerbread so special? It tastes like chocolate and cinnamon, just like Christmas. Industrially made gingerbread just tastes sweet. But here in Nuremberg, the gingerbread has a special spicy flavor. It tastes delicious. It's neither too hard nor too sweet. It has that special fresh flavor and very um, nice combination of spices. Nuremberg gingerbread is an export hit sold to fans the world over. Gingerbread glazing comes in all shapes and forms, but the key ingredients of Nuremberg's traditional gingerbread remain the same. It's a centuries-old recipe and adhered to religiously by one of the town's most famous gingerbread bakeries. Let's start with the nuts. We use three kinds, almond, walnuts and hazelnuts. We grind them up and we usually add flour to our gingerbread. One of the most important ingredients since the Middle Ages is honey. It originally came from wild bees in the local forest. We also have some ingredients that are unique to our Nuremberger gingerbread. Candied orange and citrus peel and various spices. In the Middle Ages, these spices came all the way from Madagascar, India, Mexico and Sumatra. The first mention of a gingerbread bakery in Nuremberg dates back to the 14th century. In 1643, the town's gingerbread makers formed their very own guild and developed a unique mix of gingerbread spices. It includes cloves, cordamon, ginger, coriander, allspice and fennel. To be honest, a unique combination of spices is used for each kind of gingerbread. In the Middle Ages, this was a closely guarded secret and it still is today. Add nuts, spices, dried fruit, plenty of honey and a pinch of flour and you get gingerbread dough. In a local museum, master baker Josef Buchner shows visitors how to make the tasty treat. First, the dough is spread onto a thin wafer by hand. We've been using these tools for over 200 years. After the dough has been shaped and decorated, it goes in the oven for 15 minutes. That way it stays moist. But what about the gingerbread's traditional name, a Liesenleibkuchen? There are different explanations for the name. One says that once there was a baker's daughter who was very ill. And then her dad, a gingerbread baker, took the finest ingredients he could find in his bakery. He threw them in a pot, made them into a dough and baked the whole thing. And then it said his daughter got well again. Did Elisa, the proverbial baker's daughter, actually regain her health by eating gingerbread? No one knows if this tale's actually true, but one thing is for certain. Gingerbread is part and parcel of Christmas, just like festive candles, carols, and hot mulled wine, which, by the way, tastes great with gingerbread.